to Skill School, we're going to make some ash pack baskets today with Mark Young. I'm not going to cut a tree down for one six foot log. Yeah. So, you know, this tree is kind of small. If I was building maybe snowshoes, I got a good 10 foot nice straight piece, I might choose it. But for my purposes, it's a small tree, probably doesn't have great growth rings. So we'll move on. Try to drill in straight. Any diagonal will make the growth ring distorted. Right, that makes sense. I usually go about eight turns. Then we'll put our core slant blur again. Give it a turn back the other way. You can see where the heartwood and the and the sapwood changes direction. And there's a pretty good look at the growth rings right there. This is actually a pretty decent tree. Why you say that? Well, the growth rings can be easily distinguishable and none of them are thin enough that I wouldn't use them. So every one of these growth rings is valuable because of the width of them. I mean you can look at those growth rings and you can see every one of them. I can see a riser and a weaver in every one of them. Right down to the end. That's just a cross section of cool. the growth rings. And that tool is called a core? A increment borer. Oh, cool. This is a good tree. I'm gonna put it on which way is it going? I just watched a show on TV, they were cutting like soot logs this big with those cross section logs. Side. You want to take a couple of the key is to keep it level and don't make so much work out of it. All you're doing is pulling it back. Do you want to slide over this way so you're right in line? Yep. There you go. Find something that fits you. There's our first sad. nice growth Still ring. Yeah. There's the top one that maybe not is looking so good. Yeah. I've already reached down to two more growth rings. This one's coming home with us. It's a good one. Good one. Sun breaks streaming over the rise. Heart breaks screaming. Ain't no surprise. skills that allow you to roam, make the outdoors your second home, fires off the landscape without a knife, it's more than survival, it's a way of life, bird language tracking, medicinal plants, hunting in the old way, a sacred dance, use your awareness to make your own and make your own skills. Yeah, I should be able to. There's two growth rings. I'm gonna break that right there. And that's about the diameter you're looking for for your baskets plant. There's two. There's two beautiful weavers right there. Before I get down into the biggest stuff. Nice, nice. So half the work is finding the right tree. 90% of the work is getting the right material. I mean, I've lugged too many logs out of the woods I couldn't use. 
and then you're dealing with material that you make in a basket that you know could be better just from material selection. Inadvertently, while I'm pounding, I'm loosening it up more than one growth ring. Depending on how chipper you feel, sometimes it's more than two. Do you got to peel the bark before you peel the splints? You know, it. you do. Once you get down a couple of growth rings and you get all the back off, it goes way easier. Way easier. Yeah, if the bark peeled easy, we'd, we'd slip that off first, but where it's tight, you're just going to pound it loose? Right. Sean told me what, what it was. He sighted it out. He had a tiger over there. Look at that. Look how nice and straight that piece came out. That is a basket maker's dream right there to have a pile of those. All right, there's one. Seven or eight more we can coil up. Nice. pounded nice and wet, how nice and small we can get them. They'll fit in any ordinary tub just fine. So this log is going to produce about how many weavers? This log will produce probably 20 of these, 30 of these coils. friend of mine's father 50 almost 50 years ago and he bought a big pack my biggest pack basket off of me and he goes you know I got one that my mother just found in the basement he goes made by Jakey Weir who taught me he goes can you fix it up and I said bring it over and it was similar to this one so after I get done fixing his up I'm like I'm gonna build one just like it and I built this one and I'm like I'm gonna build another one <laughs> So this is for Tana for letting us come over here and harvest the trees. Okay. 